गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर मीटिंग आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग ब्रेक ऑफ फोर एंड हाफ मंथ्स वी नो द सिचुएशन ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन एंड द प्रॉब्लम वी आर फेसिंग इन डिफरेंट सिस्टम एंड इवन इन एजुकेशन यू ऑल ऑप्टेड जुआलॉजी एज द सब्जेक्ट for second year bsc i thank you all and welcome you to the department of zoology hi dr vikrant berde assistant professor in zoology today i am going to teach you semester 3 paper number 3 the name of today's paper is applied zoology first of all we'll discuss about the syllabus of applied zoology applied zoology includes marvelous examples of animal behavior in their ecological niche animal behavior is fascinating topic which deals with social grouping of animals certain inborn traits and learning aspects which are gifted to every animal for their survival various topics of the specified subjects have been thoroughly dealt with great examples certain topics like display behavior altruism should be dealt with delicacy the students can be made aware about the causes and meaning of animal behavior either by showing video clips or taking them for the field trips so this particular topic animal behavior is about the behavior of animals in their natural world we must have seen different type of animals around us and they are behaving differently even a small insects ants big animals like elephants dogs cats they have different type of behavior and human beings have learned so many different things about their psychology their behavior the wilderness and from that they have utilized this knowledge for different aspects students are expected to learn and understand the wide scope of scientific rearing of honey bees honey bees earthworms and cattle in the third unit that is the economic zoology they can be also motivated by great potential of indian apiary and dairy products being a teachers we can introduce you the concept of feasibility report and funding agencies like dic government schemes for khadi and village development nationalized bank etc which offers subsidized loan to such viable projects for their future prospect in self employment you are going to learn a topic on parasitology parasitology would help the students community to identify and prevent an epidemic spread of dreadful diseases like amoebic dysentery elephantiasis bird flu and also the rabies toxoplasmosis etc human beings despite of their intelligence cannot avoid parasitic infections if there is a lack of awareness of mode of transmission of pathogens so more importantly students attention must be focused on causes diagnosis and control of parasitic diseases we are experiencing my dear friends we are experiencing the pandemic disease covid 19 and it has almost stopped us stopped our movement we cannot move out we are living in a lockdown condition so i would like to tell you that this particular topic on parasitology which is directly related with medical science is also important for you you can learn almost 
some part of medical science in this particular paper parasites are established to the world wide even world health organization has not been successful in eradication of infectious conditions like malaria dengue and different kinds of parasitic diseases so this particular topic on applied zoology is very interesting topic and i would like to tell you the syllabus in detail today as it is first lecture we will not go directly for uh, the learning aspects okay we are not going to start the learning module but we are first going to discuss on how we can learn this particular paper of applied zoology as you can see in this particular slide it's a semester 3 and it's a elective 1 that is paper 3 there are one more paper they have introduced but we are not elected that particular paper so being a very interesting uh, paper i have selected ethology parasitology and economic zoology as the elective one paper in ethology you are going to learn about the introduction of ethology in which you are going to learn about the definition history and scope of ethology dear friends you must have seen many times that in our own behavior also we see that every person's behavior is different my behavior is different your behavior is different your parents behavior is different on different aspect we take different decisions okay there are so many different kind of behaviors like uh, can see the emotions in us sometimes we get angry sometimes we get uh, frightened due to some particular reasons some people are very intellectual some people are they cannot understands uh, very easily some particular topic or things so uh, or you can see that in many aspects behavior is a very important thing behavior you can uh, study even in uh, management studies also they use this particular thing behavior study of behavior and human beings they are learning the behavior of different animals uh, long before like you must have, we are going to see that also that how the behavior pattern of animals have helped human being to understand the psychological problems of uh, our species so we are going to in this particular topic we are going to see the definition of ethology introduction to ethology definition of ethology history and scope of ethology so how uh, what is uh, the history of ethology when the man has started studying the behavior of animals what is the scope of ethology basically ethology is the study of animal behavior so animal behavior which can be innate or learned behavior innate may be a, which is present from your birth in simple words you can say it is inherited behavior which you don't need to learn from with the experience or with any techniques and the learned behavior which uh, you after birth with the experience and with the observations you learn that is the learned behavior types of learning behavior which are having habituation imprinting and types of imprinting like uh, filial and sexual classic uh, imprinting classical conditioning instrumental learning and insight learning very interesting topic it is so you will learn how what kind of behaviors are innate behaviors and what kind of behaviors are learned behaviors then aspects of animal behavior which consist of communication in bees and ants how these insects basically these two are very uh, very nice examples bees and the ants how these bees and ants communicate with each other you must have seen the ants these ants 
uh, anything fallen in your house any food material and immediately these ants come gather there collect that thing and goes back to their nest okay so how they come to know that food particles are fallen down in a particular area how they reach to that particular area and start collecting you must have seen that they make a row okay they make a line and in that line they are moving so how what kind of communication how they pass the message even in case of bees that we are going to see in this aspect of animal behavior that is the communication in bees and ants mimicry and coloration that is also another aspect of behavior you think that only human beings can mimic they can mimic some other people but it is not like that even animals they have this ability to do the mimicry and they can also change the colors they can develop the colors so that they can um, they can behave in different manner displacement activities ritualizations these are also a particular kind of behavior which are going to learn in this particular topic migration in fish schooling behavior in fish is very interesting behavior in fish i am not going in details of these things uh, during this particular lecture but we'll discuss when we'll go uh, in this particular topic about the migration of fish and schooling behavior in the fish habitat selection is again another uh, behavior territorial behavior here we are going to see about the uh, big animals like tigers and uh, even monkeys and all this orangutan and all this big animals how they do the habitat how, how they select the habitats or territories for their own uh, survival then social behavior in primates like uh, hanuman langur elements of social socio biology altruism and kinship these are some are the some other kind of behavior which we are going to learn in this particular topic that is the ethology very interesting topic and i am sure in uh, television we can see different channels like animal uh, animal world or what you can say animal planet discovery uh, this national geography they work on this particular aspect of our subject that is the ethology you must have seen many films related with this from your childhood that uh, they the scientists they go in the wild they put their cameras in the forest and they are just watching observing the behavior of lion behavior of tiger behavior of ants so it is very interesting that how they behave how they defend themselves how they uh, capture their food how they stop uh, learn something like uh, for example in the birds how they start learning whistling or singing the song or you can see that uh, the behavior of uh, tigers to mark their territories very interesting topic we are going to learn next topic is about the parasitology and this particular topic parasitology again as i told you so unit number 2 and first of all we are going to learn about introduction to parasitology and types of parasites so first we are going to see the definition of parasitism some animals they cannot survive on their own they need host for the survival and this host and parasitic relationship is a very interesting and from it has evolved from long long ago you can say that in the ancient time it must have evolved this parasite live in the body of host not sometimes they are on the body of host and sometimes they are in the body of host on the body of host are ectoparasite in the body that is the endoparasites so we are going to learn about this parasitic relationships between the animals so host parasite 
vector biological and mechanical types of parasite like ectoparasite endoparasite and their subtypes parasitic adaptations in ecto and endoparasites types of host host intermediate and definitive reservoir now second topic of this you are going to learn about the host parasite relationship and host specificity how they need a particular host only that you are going to learn in this this topic different type of host parasitic relationships structural specificity physiological specificity and ecological specificity of the parasite that we are going to learn in this second topic life cycle pathogenicity control measures and treatment what kind of life cycle is there how they like we, we must have seen you must have seen in the insects the egg condition larval condition pupal condition then the adult condition like that they also pass from different conditions like it starts from egg it start then it goes to some other condition that first condition which is reproductive condition then infective conditions and they require different host sometimes they take two host for complete their life cycle preliminary host and the secondary host okay so how they complete their life cycle and in that you are going to learn about entamoeba histolytica then uh, fascicula hepatica tinea solium ucaria bancrofti all these parasitic animals we are going to learn during this and important thing is that we are going to learn about their life cycle pathogenicity control measures and treatment then we are also going to learn about morphology life cycle pathogenicity control measures and treatment of head louse mites bed bugs okay these are ectoparasites you must have seen the head louse jala marathi madhe apan u mantu dokya madhe aste eva mites astat je aplyala एखाद्या प्राण्याच्या वरनं येतात आणि चावतात बेडबग असतात आपण बघितले असतील ज्याला आपण ढेकून म्हणतो ओके वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न अबाउट दिस ॲनिमल्स ऑल्सो अँड पॅरासायटॉलॉजिकल सिग्निफिकन्स दॅट इज झोनोसिस फॉर एक्झाम्पल वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न अबाउट द बर्ड फ्ल्यू अँथ्रॅक्स रॅबीस अँड टॉक्सो प्लॉस्मोसिस दिज ऑल आर आयदर व्हायरल ऑर बॅक्टेरियल डिसीजेस विच we are going to learn in this particular topic on the background of this covid 19 this topic is also very important as i told you it's a kind which includes medical par- uh, parasitology okay so when you are going to learn this topic you are going to learn about the how they treat this particular diseases what are the medicines what are the control measures we have to look after so this is very interesting topic and the third one that is the economic zoology so every subject has some or other uh, economic aspect and economic zoology where you can after learning this particular topic you can start your own business or self you can go for self employment the first one that is the apiculture as you know by keeping the bees or by rearing the bees in a bee hive you can you can uh, grow you can get the honey pollen bee wax royal jelly then bee venom there are so many products you get from honey bees and from these products you can make value added products also so very interesting topic apiculture and very important aspects about the bee keeping is they are very useful for pollination purpose so methods of bee keeping and management in this you are going to learn about the introduction to different species of honey bees used in the apicultures so you must have seen there were species of honey bees there are different species of honey bees ज्याच्यामध्ये आपण बघू शकतो की आपल्याकडे दिसणाऱ्या आग्या माशा म्हणजे आपल्या आपिस डोरसाटा म्हणतात आपिस सिरॅना सातरीच्या माशा 
किंवा फुलोरा माशा म्हण ज्याला आपण फ्लोरिया म्हणतो एपिस फ्लोरिया आणि मेलिफेरा जी युरोपमधून आलेली आहे अशा काही माशांच्या प्रकार मधमाशांच्या आपल्याला बघायला मिळणार आहेत सो इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिफरंट स्पेसिस ऑफ हनी बीज यूज इन द एपिकल्चर सिलेक्शन ऑफ फ्लोरा अँड बीज फॉर एपिकल्चर हाऊ वी यू कॅन सिलेक्ट द फ्लोरा इफ देर इज नो फ्लोरा देर इज नो फ्लॉवरिंग कंडिशन्स ऑर फ्लॉवर्स अराउंड यू देन यू कॅनॉट गो फॉर एपिकल्चर बिकॉज बीज नीड फ्लॉवर्स फॉर कलेक्टिंग पोलन अँड नेक्टर ओके दे कलेक्ट पोलन ॲज अ रिसोर्स ऑफ प्रोटीन अँड नेक्टर ॲज अ सोर्स ऑफ कार्बोहायड्रेट ओके एनर्जी अँड त्यात नेक्टर दे कन्वर्ट इन टू लेटर ऑन हनी सो लाईक दॅट वॉट आर द विच आर द बीज यू कॅन सिलेक्ट ऑर वॉट काइंड ऑफ फ्लोरा वी हॅव वी नीड फॉर एपिकल्चर दॅट इज ऑल्सो व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग विच वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न इन दिस सेक्शन ॲडवांटेजेस अँड डिसॲडवांटेजेस ऑफ ट्रॅडिशनल अँड मॉडर्न मेथड्स ऑफ एपिकल्चर बेस्ट अँड बी एनिमीज लाईक वॅक्स मॉथ वास्प ब्लॅक अँड्स बी इटर्स किंग क्रो अँड डिसिजेस विच आर द डिफरंट डिसिजेस ऑफ हनी बीज इट इज नॉट दॅट ओनली यू हॅव टू किप द बॉक्स अँड जस्ट फॉर गेट अँड यू विल गेट द हनी इट इज नॉट लाईक दॅट यू हॅव टू लुक आफ्टर दॅम यू हॅव टू कंट्रोल द डिसिजेस यू हॅव टू किल द प्रिडेटर्स ऑफ हनी बीज और यू हॅव टू यू हॅव टू जस्ट वेव देम अवे लाईक सम बर्ड्स दे कम टू इट बीज इकॉनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ हनी हनी लाईक हनी प्रोडक्शन केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन अँड इकॉनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ हनी अँड अदर बी हॅव प्रोडक्ट्स लाईक बी वॅक्स कॉम्पोजिशन अँड इकॉनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टन्स रोल ऑफ हनी बीज इन पोलिनेशन ॲज आय सेड परागी भवन ज्याला आपण मराठीमध्ये म्हणतो देन नेक्स्ट इज वी आर गोईंग टू सी अबाउट द वर्मी कल्चर अँड इन दॅट वर्मी कल्चर ॲज यू नो यू यूज अर्थवम फॉर कन्वर्टिंग दिस सॉलिड वेस्ट इन टू अ सॉलिड वेस्ट ऑर ऑर्गॅनिक वेस्ट इन टू द मॅन्युअर खत बनवण्यासाठी आपण गांडुळांचा जसा उपयोग करतो त्याची माहिती आपल्याला या टॉपिकमध्ये वर्मी कल्चरमध्ये मिळणार आहे सो रेअरिंग मेथड्स मॅनेजमेंट अँड इकॉनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ डिफरंट स्पेसिस ऑफ अर्थवम्स यूज इन द वर्मी कल्चर मेथड ऑफ वर्मी कल्चर मेंटेनन्स अँड हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ बेड्स इकॉनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टन्स ॲडवांटेजेस ऑफ वर्मी कल्चर डि डिमांड फॉर अर्थवम्स मार्केट फॉर वर्मी कंपोस्ट अँड स्कोप फॉर एंटरप्रनरशिप हाऊ यू कॅन स्टार्ट युअर ओन बिझनेस विथ अर्थवम्स ऑर वर्मी कल्चर दॅट यू आर गोईंग टू लर्न इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दॅट इज द लास्ट वन ऑफ युअर सिलेबस इज द डेअरी सायन्स ॲज यू हॅव सीन टुडे द डेअरी it has become big industry okay you can get different kind of, no, milk is not the only product but you can get different kind of products from the daily dairy industry the role of dairy development in rural economy employment opportunities dairy processing like filtration cooling chilling clarification pasteurization and freezing these are some of the processes we need to perform when you are going to get a particular kind of uh, processed milk okay when you get a milk in a packet it will go through all these processes like filtration cooling chilling clarification and pasteurization and then only it can uh, it can get what you can say you get it for it will remain proper for 2 to 3 days okay and it's a perishable product okay if you will not uh, process it it will get spoiled easily milk and milk products like uh, composition of milk types of milk buffalo milk and cow milk all these aspects you are going to learn in a topic on dairy okay so overall it's a very interesting topic uh, paper applied zoology and today we are going to stop it here only you have to go through the syllabus and then we are going to start in the next lecture about the topic on ethology that is the animal behavior so till that time i will give you some good work that start observing the behavior of 
animals which are around you like maybe a buffalo maybe a cow maybe a dog cat whatever animals you can see maybe insects are around you so you can observe the behavior of these animals start noting down the kind of behavior they are showing whether it is a learned behavior or a innate behavior that you have to find out okay so first of all start observing the behavior at the same time you can observe you can watch some good movies documentary movies on national geography animal planet or discovery channel which are related with animal behavior so thank you for attending this lecture thank you very much